everybody, I'm Sarah, Lonesome Glory, and today I'm going to unbox a stack of mail, but more importantly, I'm gonna talk about the exclusive Briarfest models. Since all of our selection forms were due yesterday, I think this might be a good time to talk about the special runs and what I like about them, what I don't like about them, anything like that. So, thank you for joining me. I am I've here, I've got my trusty box knife and a massive stack of uh, boxes to open. And the first box I'm going to start with is a little one while talking about Nicholas. This is the new mold that Briar has given us for our celebration model. I honestly, I'm not sure how I feel about him yet. Uh, I haven't seen it in person, but he definitely looks cute and I'm looking forward to getting mine. So then there's the uh, Stablemate event models, what used to be the single day ticket models. I guess they've changed that up on us again. Uh, there are four of them. They are, there's an Alba Rosso, there's a mini Emma, uh, one of the extended trot horses, and the new Clydesdale. I really, really like that they're using some of the newer molds but I am really excited to get the mini pony. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I did get a uh, VIP ticket, so I have uh, one of each of those coming. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting to see them a little closer, see how like the dapples on the gray come out, things like that. So then we have the special run models. And this is where the excitement starts. These are the ones that we had to rank uh, earlier in the week. And uh, for what it's worth, I doubt that I'm going to talk about the limited editions uh, today. Back. <laughs> my, my kitten, Khaleesi, is trying to um, run off with the little bag that Minnie Fireheart came in, which is not a good thing because she's a lot and I would have to chase her down. So <laughs> that said, I doubt that I'm going to get to the limited edition models today. That's something I can talk about another time. Um, when it comes to the special runs, the ones that you had to get a special ticket for and then rank, um, there are a bunch of them this year. It looks like there's eight, I think, different ones, um, which is kind of the norm now. It seems like they're doing more of them. There's a... Blue Spirit, I believe that one's name is Franz. Of all of them, he's probably my least favorite. Not because there's anything wrong with him. Um, he's actually a really nice looking blue color in uh, Briar's picture. And if you wonder why I keep glancing over this way, that's where my uh, screen is that tells me what horses I need to talk about. Um, I, I think that he's pretty, he is not one that I put high at all on my selection list. Um, I hope that people who really enjoy decorators or really enjoy that mold are able to get him. He's just not, not my cup of tea. Um, the two that I got with my uh, VIP ticket, uh, one of them will probably come to, come as no surprise to, um, anyone, uh, but I put Stein on there. Stein is the Grula Fireheart, and he is absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to see him in person, um, but honestly, after I got my regular Fireheart model with the Vintage Club last year, I think they could put any color on this horse, and I'd probably go a little crazy for him. So I'm definitely looking forward to that one. The other one that I selected with my VIP ticket is the third model on this picture that I'm looking at. Uh, that's Marzipan. He is the Palomino Pinto Wyatt. And Briar really just ticked every box that makes me want a horse with that. Um, Palomino Pintos are probably some of my favorite color coloring on a horse. And I just love that Wyatt mold, the gaming horse mold. I, I think he looks really cool. And um, I, when I was thinking about which horses I wanted with the VIP, I kind of used the metric of 
which horse would I be disappointed not to bring home? And those were the two that I just, I had to have. I really wanted them. So that's where I stand, uh, both with my VIP picks and with um, what, how I feel about uh, those molds, or those models. There are, it looks like five others, plus the rotating draft surprise. And honestly, I'm not gonna talk about the surprise. That's probably a um, topic for another video. Um, I, at this point, I'm not 100% sure what they're doing with it, but I'm looking forward to trying to come up with some surprise model conspiracy theories. <laughs> that said, uh, the rotating draft surprise when I did my full preference list, because uh, of course I had to buy tickets for both mom and Aunt Linda, um, but it popped up every other <laughs> horse because I would like to get uh, a couple of a couple of the surprise. Moving on <laughs> to horses that we actually know what they look like. There is the, um, I believe that's the Tatillus mold, Landler. He's, he's in kind of a gray, pen, gray roan uh, dapple looking. The color I am not going to be able to identify very well because so, in some of the pictures I think he looks a little more rose gray and some, some he looks uh, kind of red. I, I'm not, I'm not sure. The point is y'all know which one I'm talking about. Honestly, his color to me looks an awful lot like the volunteer model Carrick from a few years ago. And if that's the case, he's going to be very pretty because that's a lovely color. I'm not a big fan of the mold. Not that I don't like it. I just don't particularly collect it. So this is another one that I kind of put lower on my list. If I wind up bringing one home, it won't upset me. But he's not one um, that I just absolutely had to have as soon as I saw him. I do think they did an excellent job with that color, though. Now, speaking of horses that have a unique color, there is the Big Bend mold. Big Ben mold. Uh, Big Bend is a street in St. Louis. Uh, in this, I think I'm, I think they're calling it a leopard Appaloosa. And I would stick with that except for the big black splotch over that front leg. I'm sure that they have excellent reference photos that shows what, uh, what he looks like, what he's supposed to look like. Um, I just, I don't know. The color for me just didn't do it. Um, I do think that he is going to be pretty popular. It seems like of folks I've talked to, they're very excited to see the mold used, which is fantastic. So I hope that the people who get him adore him. I like that. I do think that he looks lovely. Um, just not one that, again, that I put very highly on my list. So it is what it is there. Um, sorry, I'm talking around things. This is a vintage club horse. So there's all kinds of packing materials with him. The next ones are the set of three clear wear scented gummy bears. Now I have some uh, major skepticism regarding the scented portion of this. I think that'll maybe on these models last Briarfest weekend and then we'll never hear from it again. Uh, but I love using the bears as gummy bears. I think it is the cutest idea. Um, it's for me personally, it's not one that I have to have. I did put them on my preferences list and will not be upset at all if I get to bring home a set. But all around, um, just not, I love them. I really, really do. I want to make that clear because it sounds like I'm being negative about them. I really love them. I think they look great. I'm trying not to wind up with every animal that Briar has ever made. So it's not one that I'm going to be upset if I don't come home with. I don't, ones that I might be upset if I don't come home with is the other set that is in the lineup. That is the new uh, Firefly and Hawkeye models in two slightly different, based on the pictures, slightly different shades of gray. Um, I'm really pleased with how those look. 
I know there was some discussion when the Premier Club models came out about how they were smaller than people were expecting. And when I got my Premier Club set, I have to say I did agree a little bit that I they are a little on the small side, but the set themselves is so well done. And I really, they're just nice looking models. I like that they started off with horses that were slightly more solid. Now we have this really, really gorgeous paint set. So I'll be looking forward to those. They are on my list. Um, but on my preferences list, they are nowhere near as high as the last model, which is the brand new Astrid slash Norwegian Fjord mold with a long flowing, very, I don't know who sculpted it, but the mane looks like the old Moody manes with the windows <sighs> named Rapunzel. I love this horse. I did have some serious, uh, back and forth about whether I should um, pick Marzipan or pick her for my VIP. I went ahead, as I told you, with Marzipan, but she is number one top of my preferences list for the other tickets that I have. And I absolutely cannot wait to see her in person. So I'm on the last horse that I had here to unbox, and I know I haven't been particularly talking about them, um, but I thought it might be kind of a change to do some unboxing, see some new horses, while talking about Briarfest, which is something that I do intend to do more of in the uh, coming weeks. I am working currently on my entry for the Diorama Contest. I'm very excited about it. Mom and Aunt Linda and I have had some days over here where I have worked on my project and they have worked on theirs. I think this year we're all entering one. So I have been taking pictures from that and we'll try to put all that together for a video for you guys coming up. I'll also take some time later on to talk about the limited editions and the other Briarfest special runs that I didn't get to today. And um, all of that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, tell me in the comments below which of the Briarfest special runs from the store is your favorite, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!